Namaste. Today, the story from Joy of Reading is Mongal Stole Pongal. The author is Abhi Krish and illustrators are Abhi Krish and Abhishekta Datta, published by the Story Weaver community. Mongal. Who is Mongal? It is this red monster here. And what does Pongal mean? Pongal is the harvest festival celebrated in India. And harvest means when the crops are ready to be cut. So it is celebrated in various parts of India and it is very important to the farmers who gives us these crops and food. Let us see what Mongal did to Pongal. Underneath the mucky earth lived big and bumbling Mongal. Bah to color, bah to noise. Can you hear him grumble? So here is Mongol, the red grumpy monster. And where does he live? Underneath the earth, mucky meaning covered with dirt. So he is big and bumbling, always confused. And he does not like color. He does not like noise. Can you hear him grumble or complain? I only like it dry and dark. I only like things gray. Creepy crawlies make me slurp. I munch them raw each day. So, Mongol likes it dark, no light at all. And all things that are not colorful, only grays. And he loves to eat the insects that crawl on the ground. That is crawling is dragging their body. Those creepy crawlies. Creepy is like, uh, I don't want to like look at those insects. So he eats them. Mm, 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 munches them raw. That is without cooking it and says, mm. A colorful, vibrant farming village lived along the plains rearing cattle, plowing fields, growing fruit and grains. So there was this colorful and full of energy and life, vibrant, a farming village, meaning people there earned their livelihood through farming. They lived along the plains surrounded by the hills. And what did they do? They reared cattle, meaning they grew cows, goats, and plowed the fields, meaning they turned the earth in the fields to grow crops. And what did they grow? They grew fruits and they grew grains as well, like rice, wheat, so on and so forth. Every year for three whole days, the village gathered round. Hurrah for Pongal! Thank you, son! Song and dance abound. So... The whole village came together for three full days or whole days and they sang, they danced and then they said, Hurrah for Pongal. Thank you, son. So they all prayed to the sun god. You can see in this picture a farmer and his wife praying to the sun god. They are cooking in a pot, red colored pot, something that is white and they have sugar cane as well tied around it. Their happy songs, the crowds and hue made Mongol pull his hair. No more Pongal, not this year. I'll steal the sun, I swear. So the jolly song singing, the crowds, the number of people and hue color was not liked by Mongol. He pulled his hair and he swore or promised that no Pongal this year and he will steal the sun. Let us see what he's doing. He gathered tools and waited till the sun began to set. The unsuspecting ball of light now nabbed inside his net. So, Mongol waited till the sun set and it was sleeping. 
what did he do? He took his tool, a big net, and then grabbed the sun or nabbed it into his net. Ha, ha, ha! I've got you, son! Mongol pranced with glee. He locked it in a mountain cave. Now how will you flee? So what did Mongol do? He locked the sun in a mountain cave and then shouted with joy, asking him, how will he run now? How will he flee? Mornings came, mornings went, only darkness stayed. Plants, creatures, people too had now began to fade. So there was no light. It was dark and plants, animals and people too began to become dull, tired, weak. You can see these plants withering, these animals tired and so are the humans as well. Over in the city, the kids howled in despair. I want pudding, pizza, paratha. Gosh, this isn't fair. So it's not only in the village, but in the city too. Children cried in despair or without any hope. They wanted to eat pudding, a sweet dish, pizza. All of you must be knowing about it and paratha, an Indian flatbread. And they said that this is not fair at all. These supermarkets are empty. The shelves are plain and bare. How do they run out of things? Doesn't food grow there? So the shops, the supermarkets were all empty. Nothing was there in the shelves and the, everything was empty. And they were thinking, doesn't food grow in the supermarkets? Where did it go? Why is it not growing? Their teacher said, it's sunshine that makes all of nature flourish. Farmers toil in fields and farms to grow as foods that nourish. So, the teacher explained to the children, it is only the farmers that toil in the fields and farms that help us grow food to make us healthy and strong, nourish. And what makes nature flourish or grow well? It is the sunshine. It is the light from the sun that makes all the crops in the fields to grow as well or flourish. Let's find the sun, head to the farms. The kids raced to their quest. They got there to discover floods right up to their chest. So you can look at these kids here. They all wanted to go find the sun. So they said, let's go to the farms or head to the farms. And they raced to their quest. Quest is trying to or searching for something. And what did they find or discover? Floods, water everywhere. And it, where was it? It was right up to their chest. Look at this picture where it, the water comes to up to their chest. It's coming from the mountains. The snow is melting fast. Something inside is burning hot. Maybe a sunshine blast? So all of this water was coming from the Mountains, as you can see, the snow was all melting and turning into water. And why? Because there was something inside the mountain that was very, very hot. Something was burning with fire and it was so hot. Did the sun explode? Was there a sunshine blast? They sailed towards the mountains when they found a sobbing Mongol. The floods had washed away his home. He'd caused a terrible jumble. So they sailed in their boats towards the mountains, going towards the mountains. And what did they find? A crying or a sobbing Mongol. 
what happened? Why is he crying? Because the floods had all taken his home out. They had washed away his home, drowned his home. Looks like he had caused a terrible mix-up. He was the reason for a terrible mix-up. No bugs to eat. I'm cold and wet. I really am so sorry. Let's right the wrong, the children cheered. There isn't time, hurry. So Mongol was crying. He had no insects to eat and he was cold and covered with water wet. And he realized his mistake and said, sorry. But the children said, let's go and correct the wrong. Let's hurry, let's go fast. Mongol led the search crew to the secret mountain cave, but the entrance had sealed in too tight. Things seemed very grave. So Mongol led all the group of children, the search crew, to the secret mountain cave where the sun was locked up. But what happened? The entrance was sealed tightly or it was closed, fastened very tight. It was stuck like this. And things were like really serious or very grave. Let's use that catapult, swing it high. The children bravely spoke. Again, again. The team pressed on until the entrance broke. So catapult, look at this picture. Catapult is this device. It is used to fling or throw objects far off. So what did Mongol do? He used his catapult, placed a rock there and pulled the string there so that it was thrown towards the entrance. They threw many rocks at it till this whole entrance broke. The sun sprang high into the sky. A magic wand its rays. Presto, change O. All was well, back to the good old days. Though the sun went up immediately and it looks like it had a magic wand. Presto, change oh, it said. And the light flooded, everything was well, all was well and everything went back to the good old days, what it was before when the sun was there. The people rushed to celebrate cooking pots of rice and sugar. Pongal, oh, Pongal, Mongal sang. His smile grew bigger and bigger. So everyone rushed or hurried to celebrate. What did they take? These cooking pots that is there, which contain rice and sugar and Mongol then sang along with them, Pongalo, Pongal. So, and he had a big smile on his face. Thank you, son, for all you do. You keep us warm and fed. You make our world so beautiful. Such joy and cheer you spread. So, now all of them were able to thank the sun god because he keeps us warm. He feeds us as well and he makes this world a pretty and beautiful place and he spreads so much happiness, joy. In this picture, you can see the farmer and his whole family, even along with the cows that they grew, thanking the sun and celebrating it all together. Pongal is a Thanksgiving festival for the sun god. The sun is what makes nature grow and thrive. Pongal is held in January every year in the Tamil calendar month of Thai. This is the season when rice, cereal, turmeric and sugarcane are harvested. The above items are prominently used during the Pongal celebrations. So Pongal is the time where we say thanks to the sun god because sun is what gives life to this earth or this world and it helps nature flourish and grow so well. 
Pongal comes during the month of January every year and the Tamil calendar month is called Thai. Tamil is the language spoken in the southern state of India called Tamil Nadu and they celebrate this harvest festival and call it as Pongal. But it is not limited to Tamil Nadu alone. It is celebrated in various states of India and is called as Makara Shankranti. So it is a harvest festival celebrated throughout India. And in this season, especially in Tamil Nadu, rice, cereal, turmeric and sugar cane are all harvested. The other states then celebrate with those food items that they harvest. So with whatever food items are harvested, they are mainly used during the celebrations of Pongal or Makara Shankranti. An enjoyable part of the Pongal festival is making a sweet dish called Pongal. Rice, milk and sugar are combined in a pot. As the milk starts to boil and overflow, families come together and joyously cheer Pongalo Pongal. The overflowing of the pot represents abundance and prosperity. Pongal also means to boil over. So, as usual with all festivals, a sweet dish is always welcome and enjoyable. So, a sweet dish made out of rice, milk and sugar are combined in a pot and is made. The milk is made to boil and it overflows. That represents wealth and prosperity. And during that time when the milk boils outside, boils flows over, everyone shouts with joy, Pongalo Pongal. The second day of Pongal is called Martu Pongal. Martu or Madu is cow. And the day celebrates livestock such as cows and goats that produce the milk needed to make foods such as cheese, yogurt and ghee. The cows and calves are decorated in beautiful ornaments and then are worshipped with thanks for all that they give. So there is a second day as well after Pungal which is also celebrated called Madu Pungal. Madu means cow in Tamil and what does this day celebrate? All the cows, goats and calves that give us milk so that we can make cheese, yogurt, ghee or clarified butter. Thanks to these animals, our lives are more enriched. So that day, all these animals are beautifully decorated in ornaments wearing colorful things and jingling bells. And then they are also worshipped saying thanks for all that you give us. The last day of Pongal is called Kanum Pongal. It is performed by the girls and women of the house to pray for good fortune and health of all in the family. So the third day or the last day of Pongal is called Kanum Pongal. So the women and the girls of the family pray for the wealth and prosperity of everyone in the family. It is called Kanum Pongal and during the day as well, everyone from the villages take a holiday, come to the city and see all the wonderful sights surrounding them. Kanum means sight or seeing and that is why since they come out from the villages and see many places, it is called the seeing or the visiting or the Kanum Pongal. The sun. The sun is a large star. Sunlight makes plants grow. Sunlight helps our body make vitamin D, which is important in keeping us strong and healthy. The sun is very hot. The sun is very far away from us. We cannot go near the sun, but we can pretend to catch it with a net by using our imagination. Looking at the sun directly will hurt our eyes. So the sun is a very, very, very big star, but it is a life giver. It makes the plants grow. It gives us the most required vitamin, vitamin D, which is required for us because to make us strong and healthy. 
It is far off and is very hot. I don't think we can go near the sun because we would be burnt. And looking at the sun directly with our eyes like that, no, it is not going to be possible since it will hurt our eyes. Let's make pongal. Here is one version of a recipe for making sweet pongal. Try it out if you're curious. Pongal is the harvest festival to express our thanks to the sun, which is the life giver. It also celebrates our livestock, which have helped us in many ways. Nature is preserved well when we worship those that help us. And last but not the least, let us thank the farmers who provide us with food. I hope you enjoyed this story along with me and learned about this colorful and vibrant festival. Pongalo Pongal. Bye. Let us go through some of the difficult words in the story. Maki, covered with dirt. Grumble, complain about something. Vibrant, full of energy and life. Hue, color. Despair, loss of hope. Sealed, closed securely. Try these questions. Do you or others Celebrate the harvest festival from where you come from. Can you share details about it? What dishes are made during this festival at your place? What are these dishes made out of? That is the ingredients. Do you think the sun is important? Why? I hope you enjoyed this story. Let's meet again with another story. This is Harini signing off for now. Bye.